The GTX 1060 has been on the market for eight months now, and Nvidia announced at GDC a month ago that GTX 1060 would see nine gigabit per second variants. Those cards will be hitting the market very soon. That is a 12.5% memory clock speed improvement compared to the standard 6GB model. Aside from that, the standard 6GB GTX 1060 and the 9 gigabit per second models share the same specifications. This video will show the performance of the GTX 1060 while using the Dracula VGA cooler. With the help of two 140mm fans, this cooler keeps the card under 60 degrees Celsius at all times in my environment. Here is ReCore running at 2560 by 1440 with the DX Tori frame rate counter in the top left corner. The settings are maxed out aside from camera motion blur being turned off. It's a personal preference. In this game, the performance is ideal. With VSync on, 2560 by 1440 at 60 frames per second with virtually no frame drops is possible. This card can run many games at 2560 by 1440 at 60 frames per second with maximum settings. But in the most demanding games, you'll need to turn down settings a bit. However, at 1080p, all the games that I've tested exceeded 60 frames per second at the highest presets. One thing that I have become interested in recently is emulating console games on PC. And this card is able to run all console emulators very well, as long as you have a high clock speed CPU to go along with it. After discovering console emulation, I have been mostly playing some of my favorite games from the past using this card. It's great being able to play all of my favorite games on one machine, using one controller. Perhaps I'll eventually do a video showing how well this card runs various emulators. This card is great for those who want to emulate consoles while also having the ability to play any PC game with great settings. I have tested four GTX 1060s up to this point, and after overclocking, all of them have reached the 9 gigabit per second memory that the new models offer. This leads me to believe that the majority of existing GTX 1060s can reach these memory speeds. Though some may not, it's still worth attempting the overclock to see if you can gain some extra performance. In my opinion, the 9 gigabit per second refresh for the GTX 1060 is a good thing. For one, it's honest. They kept the same name, unlike the upcoming AMD RX 570 and 580, which are nothing more than overclocked RX 470 and RX 480. And the refresh will extend the life of GTX 1060. Usually mid-range cards are outdated quick, but this one still performs nicely. Here are some benchmarks. GTX 1060 is still a great value at $250, and with the 9 gigabit per second model, 
you get an extra 5% frame rate improvement out of the box. Thanks for watching.